Hey everybody, Don Georgievich here, Job Interview Tools. Today I want to talk to you about following up after a job interview and more specifically, when to follow up after your interview. I get a lot of calls from people and they're like, Don, you know, when should I follow up after an interview? I mean, sometimes it takes three or four weeks for these employers to get back to me and, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm stalking them or anything, but I kind of want to know if they're interested. So the best time to follow up is when they're getting ready to make a hiring decision kind of right before that. So how do you know? Well, you know when they're getting ready to make a decision by asking them. So let's go back to your first interview. When you sat down with them and at the end of the interview, they asked if you had any final questions, that's when you ask them, when do you plan to make a hiring decision? And they're going to say maybe in two or three weeks or more. And then your follow-up question to that is, do you mind if I give you a call? Or do you mind if I send you an email to follow up in a couple of weeks to see where you're at? Obviously, they're going to say yes, and that's your opportunity to get their contact information. So then you might ask them, you know, what's the best number to give you a call at? Or what's your best email address? They're going to give you that information. Now you have it, you write it down, and then in two or three weeks, you give them a call or you send them an email. Preferably, you want to give them a call. And now you have a time frame for when they're getting ready to make a hiring decision and you want to call them, you know, several days before that. Now, for me personally, I always called my interviewers. Just pick up the phone, give them a call, leave a voicemail, or whatever. But I would call them because calling builds rapport so much more than just sending an email. I mean, anybody can send an email. Email is cheap and easy and it just lands on their inbox and they're either going to ignore it, delete it, or maybe they'll give you a quick reply. But calling is so much more personal. And like I said, it kind of builds that rapport. And the more conversations that you have with your interviewer, the more rapport you have, the more likely they are to consider you for this job. So what are you going to say if you call them? Now, when I would call, I would have two scripts ready. I'd have one script that was exactly what I was going to say if I got their voicemail. The other script was what I was going to say if they picked up the phone. So I'd kind of have two scripts. I'd kind of go like this, pick up the phone, be like, hey, uh, this is Don Georgievich here. I just wanted to follow up with you on that consulting position. And I wondered if you're still on track to make a hiring decision by the end of next week. If you could, give me a call back at your earliest convenience. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. That's it. You see how simple that was? I left them a voicemail. It was pleasant. I told them what I was looking for and I told them to give me a call back at the earliest convenience or I asked them to give me a call back. So now the other option is, what if they pick up the phone? What are you going to say? So it could kind of go like this. Be like, hey, uh, this is Don Georgievich here. Hey Dave, I'm glad I caught you at your desk. Is now a bad time to talk about that consulting position? And so what are they going to say? I asked them if it's a bad time. So I'm being polite. And I'm asking if it's okay to talk. If he says, yes, it's a bad time. Can you call me back tomorrow? Fine. You say, that's fine. I'll call you back tomorrow. If he says, no, this is not a bad time at all. And then you lead into your questions about the position. And you can ask them, you know, have you guys decided on a, uh, on a hiring date yet? Or, you know, are you still on track to make a hiring decision? Something like that. Those are yes, no questions, but it's okay to ask a yes or no if they actually pick up the phone. If you're sending an email or if you're leaving voicemail, I kind of like to avoid the yes or no questions and ask them questions that force them to give more of a response. I mean, if you send them an email and you say, hey, have you guys decided on making a hiring decision? It's just a simple yes or no. They might reply back and say no. So if you're going to send an email, what you want to do is kind of reflect back to the time of the job interview and kind of refresh their memory. And you have, you have more work to do in email, but you kind of want to refresh their memory about the interview. Let them know you're still interested in the position and ask them if they've decided on uh, making a decision or when they plan to make a decision or if they're, you know, they're even still interested in you. But I wouldn't ask that. Don't ask if they're still interested in you. That's just a simple yes or no. You want to ask them if they're still on track to make a decision. All right, so if you're going to call or email, the best time I've found to do this is on Tuesday at 9 a.m. Here's why. Mondays, I don't like following up because it's a busy day. It's after the weekend and they've got to answer all kinds of other emails. They've got 
uh, um, they've got meetings to go into, they've got fires to put out. So never follow up on Monday. Tuesday is great because they've already had a chance to settle in for the week and they're just getting going and they're full of energy. So Tuesday at 9 a.m. if you're going to call or even email, it's a great time to drop it in. Or and you now, like I said, Tuesday at 9 a.m. is just optimal. You can follow up anytime on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. But Friday, don't follow up on Friday because that's a wind down day. They're getting, they're closing out everything for the week and they don't wanna have to deal with responding to you or taking your phone call. So there you go, Tuesday, 9 a.m., best time to follow up. So what do you say in a follow-up letter? Well, I'll tell you, I've got a whole book of them right here. It's called Perfect Thank You Letters. I've got about 100 different thank you letters in this guide, and they're just gonna kind of walk you through what to say. So like if you're in healthcare, or you're in the government industry, you're in accounting, finance, teaching, you know, medical field, whatever it is, I've got sample thank you letters for um, email and handwritten business letters in this guide. It's gonna teach you exactly what to do. It's gonna tell you why you wanna say the things that you say. It's very simple, easy to follow. And this is a quick and easy download. You can get this from jobinterviewtools.com. I'll put the link for it in the description below. But this is just gonna kinda take out all the guesswork about you know, how to follow up and when to follow up. And I go, a lot, and I go into a lot more detail on following up than I can in this video. All right, my friend, that's all I have for you today. Good luck on your next interview. I'll see you in the next video. And while you're still here, if you like my channel, you like this video, make sure you subscribe so you get notifications every time I release a new video. All right, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.